Hello friends and welcome again. In this chapter we are at last going to start mixing. Off we go! We could learn that the use of equalization was aimed to avoid distortion and also to soften the input and output of the sounds in the mix. In this chapter we are going to make a mix based on this principle. I have seen fellow DJs who do their entire sessions with this technique. It is very simple to perform and usually has a very good result. It consists of taking away the presence and prominence of the outgoing track, that would be the one that is playing and we want to take out of the mix, and give prominence to the incoming track. All this is done by means of the equalizers. We would have the outgoing track at the beginning of the mix in a flat equalization, and the incoming one with the bass volume off and treble and medium a little diminished. Little by little, we will turn up the equalizers of one track and turn down the ones of the other. It is very simple. Let's go to the practical part and you will notice that it is very easy. The first thing we have to decide is where we will mix one song with the other and we will mark some cuts. To start the song at the beginning of the phrase, we will mark the first drum beat after a breakdown. Let's stay this one and mark a cut. So we will on the other one, when this breakdown ends. Now let's stay the first again, drag it backwards and play it. And here it is. Let's go back a little and that's it. Now on the cue area we mark for instance cut A and we do it exactly the same on the other song. We place it right at the point where the phrase begins and mark cut A, for example. Now let's prepare them for the mix. Now we would have the incoming sum with the cut just on the red line and the outgoing sum, the one on the left, a little behind. We are going to mix them. We play the outgoing sum. We activate the sync button in both to synchronize themselves. Look at the equalizers. The left has a flat equalization, and the outgoing song must have the treble and medium levels a little diminished, and bass levels lower to the maximum. And now, when both cuts come together, we will click on play. We just insert it by turning the volume up gradually. we will turn the equalizers up. We turn one up and, at the same time, turn the other down. In this way, one track is taking prominence and presence in the mix and the other is fading away gradually. The perfect moment to get a sound out of the mix is on a phrase change. Take this now, for instance. After following these three previous lessons, you could start mixing, and they will certainly be the steps into the world of DJ mixing. Here, this short course comes to an end. But if you find it enjoyable and would like to go further and learn a lot more about mixing, you can take a longer course of about two hours and a half that goes deeper into record box and will enable you to make amazing mixes and master more complex skills. There is a link to it on this video description. Well, dear friends, time to say goodbye. I hope to see you soon.